Teesside's industrial heritage goes back not just decades, but centuries to iron making and steel making, and more recently as Europe's first integrated modern chemical plant. We are the second largest carbon emitting region in the country, and that means unless we reduce our carbon footprint in a measured and sensible way, we could see the loss of many, many hundreds, if not thousands of jobs. Net Zero Teesside will be the world's first industrial decarbonised cluster. The aim is to take CO2 from a range of industries in Teesside, take it to a central gathering point, compress it, send it offshore and store it safely in an underground reservoir in the North Sea. It's an opportunity to offset a huge amount of carbon dioxide production, equivalent to two million homes a year's worth of carbon production, and will potentially store up to six million tonnes per annum of carbon dioxide. In addition, we're going to build a new gas-fired power station and we'll capture the carbon dioxide that that produces as well and store that. The combination of these two things will allow us to capture future carbon dioxide from new industries brought into the region and allow all of this combined to decarbonize the whole of the area. So I think that's one of the exciting things of Teesside Net Zero Initiative in that it will supply that infrastructure to enable companies to capture their carbon and comply with the new regulations. Being a part of the Net Zero Teesside project to me means being part of the solution towards climate change, particularly industrial decarbonisation and also uh, decarbonised power. The consultation process as part of the development consent order requires us to hold a stage one consultation event, which we held back in October 2019. This gave the community and local stakeholders the opportunity to raise any concerns or challenges that they have with the project moving forward. Teesside is a fantastic place to decarbonise the industry. It's relatively compact, it's near a range of offshore stores. In addition to that, there's a very proud industrial heritage in Teesside, and it would be great to revitalise the economy here by taking it back to where the industry first started and learning how to do low carbon industry. As part of the development order submission, we need to also have a stage two consultation. This is giving us the opportunity to show how we've incorporated comments from the local communities and engage with them further with the increase in design definition that we now have. What better place to invest in a first-of-a-kind carbon capture use and storage project? The Net Zero Teesside project will bring tremendous opportunities to Semcorp and Teesside. The existing customer base and manufacturers on Teesside will benefit from it, but so will companies looking to develop new manufacturing assets in the UK. They will have a place where they can come and get large volume energy at low or zero carbon. CCUS is vitally important to the world. Every major study has concluded it's impossible to meet the world's carbon targets without carbon capture and storage. The Net Zero Teesside project will impact the UK because it's the first of a kind industrial cluster the first time anywhere on the globe that we'll be able to say we have a zero carbon production industrial cluster. And that provides a great opportunity to export those skills and capabilities developed here locally on Teesside, all around the country and hopefully the world. To make Teesside the centre of a world leading project like this would mean it would create new jobs, it would protect existing jobs, and it would create a platform for new and innovative technologies in the 21st century not seen in this area for many decades.